the fun is about to begin. And by fun, I also mean chaos. Uh, we're about to start the GBO madness and I couldn't be more excited. Uh, it's such a cool experience. There's so many people in town that we don't get to see most of the year, some from Finland and like overseas. And then uh, the Fly Mart is always just so much fun. We get to meet a lot of fans and a lot of you cool people. So I'm super, super looking forward to that. Anchors. We got some anchors, especially. What you got there, Zoe? I've got the golden eggs that will be hidden on the course of Peter Pan. <laughs> I don't know why I said that in an accent, but golden eggs are cool to find anyway. I like it. <laughs> Let's go hide these, right? Let's go hide these. <laughs> so, um, it's Bobby's birthday. It's Bobby's birthday, but is not it? actually Bobby's birthday. Is so it we've, Bobby's birthday? We've had this idea for two years now that we've wanted to pull a prank on Bobby at GBO and ha get say happy birthday on Facebook, buy him a cake, decorate his office, try and get everybody at GBO wishing Bobby happy birthday when it really isn't his birthday. And his birthday is January 5th, I think. Yeah. So not even close. Not even close. <laughs> so the goal is, is we're going to post on his Facebook wall, wishing him happy birthday, getting a bunch of people to do that. Hopefully that snowballs into something. And Every time we out, see him, we're going to say happy tonight. birthday too. Or tomorrow night. Yeah. So we might be singing happy birthday, Bobby. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bobby! <laughs> Did you say happy birthday to Bobby? Wait, turn it on again. <laughs> oh, there's this, this twisting up. Happy birthday, Bobby! Oh, party time! Yay! Yay! Oh, gosh. I'm leaving it. Do it, man. I'm down. Oh, they got you a cake, too? <laughs> It says, it says, every time it says, happy birthday. Mm. All right. Happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Bobby. <laughs> Yay, look at these. Woo. <laughs> Lost and hey. found. What's the plan tonight? Uh, we're going to the player check-in. To... Nice try. Players meeting. There we go. Cut. Got it, got there. And good. Uh, so we are going, watch out, um, we are going to the player meeting at the Granada Theater. Oh, we're going to sing happy birthday to Bobby, <laughs> even though it's not his birthday. So, uh, he seems to be enjoying the prank, so yeah, it's good. why not? Let's go Blues! Tina, what are we doing? 
We're gonna go to the store. We're going to the store. We're going to the store. We're going to the store. The store. To the store. Going to the store. To get like tacos or yeah, some, some, more cake some maybe. Taco store. Yeah, we've already gotten two cakes. One ice cream, one regular. So what's left? Is that all the cakes? Sheep sheet cake. Sheep cake. Sheet. Sheet Let's cake. Let's go get like a big sheep sheet. cake. You know, the big the, the cake. <laughs> GBO week. The GBO. You having fun yet, Eric? I'm having a great time. Just picked up Moonshine Lucid X Felons along with Moonshine Felons to sell at the Fly Mart and potentially beyond that, but we'll see. I have 400 felons right now, so. And we don't have space for that. And I'm a happy camper, so. 400 discs, maybe 450 is what we usually carry in like all of our stock. Oh, hey. All of it. Okay, nice stop. Stop it. Stop it. Nice stop it. Hey. Okay, so for Keep those going. of you that don't know what glass blown open is, which is probably not a lot of you, but assuming I have anyone on here that oh. isn't a disc golfer, um, the glass blown open is one of the largest tournaments in the United States. Oh my gosh, Eric. You're not I'm how you're I'm It's one of the biggest tournaments that is run at all in the United States. There's like 1,600 people that all come to this little town the size of my home st my hometown. How many people live here? 15,000? 20,000 maybe? Maybe maybe a little more, maybe a little less. So, There's a college, so that helps. Every hotel sells out. Every Airbnb is booked. I would, I would even say a month in advance. There's like nowhere to stay. Do you know all the words? I don't. I, w I wish I knew the song to that, that song, Notorious. Notorious. And it rolls really, really good for Emporia. But what are the other words? Emporia. <laughs> Those are the only words. <laughs> Gonna play disco. What do you go to the store for? Um, Don't you have all the discs you'll ever need? I really do. And I went in and got four feats. And then went to Peeps. the Fiefs, and then went to the distribution center and got four more Fiefs. Oh, what's up, dude? <laughs> There's our homie. Is that Schweitzer? No, it's not mine. We are at the, the, I can't say better things. We're the dynamic dis. We are here in a minute. Stop yeah. circling. Let's start over. We are at the dynamic discs store. In Emporia, Kansas, we're gonna black. go in, this was great, and then was like do a meet and, and greet, <laughs> have some fun. Probably go for a little bit more baby blue. He's gotta beat me. Let's go. And you've been doing really well. Right. Trying to represent us, you know? Everything like we got going on here. So fresh. Of course. Wait, we love you. So far from where we're from, it's uh, just a cool small world, man. What's your guys' favorite part about GBO so far? <laughs> Playing all the courses. Playing disc golf every day. Playing disc golf every day. That's a decent answer. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's why we're here. Yep. How about you, Tom? Favorite thing about GBO, um, the chocolate. <laughs> Did you get yours? Yeah, it's delicious. We gotta go over there. Still. Oh, actually, here. and the beer. It's good too. <laughs> and the beer. Yeah. The beer fest. Did you guys have the beer fest yesterday? Yeah, that was yeah. sweet. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many good breweries. Nice. I get my 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 arms ready to sign signatures. We're gonna get one slap. It's not for me, give it back to him. But he's got you want he wants you to sign it. Oh. <laughs> oh <God>. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> 
is the biggest size for a man. Here, here, come here. Seriously, dude. Yeah, dude. So scared. <laughs> what is that? It's a junior. It's the biggest Compare it size to be a man. To the wingman. Stretch it around. <laughs> and then we throw it. Don't stretch it. Does it fit? Is it no. too big? Hold on. This is my shirt. It's about the same size, isn't it? It's pretty dang close. Will you throw it at Zach as hard as you can now? Do it for the camera. Oh, got it. <laughs> You're out! <laughs> no, but I just did it. Right. <laughs> Sorry! In the face! Hey, check it flesh and flip stuff. That sucks. Oh, wait, get it, get it, get it. Oh, get it, get it out. You're the best cheating. That's what Kala does is how I match with him. Get it on down. <laughs> like put mini markers over his eyes for like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's in pretty. I was gonna see if you wanted to see. You've been on the ground a lot today. <laughs> What you got going on here, Taco? Um, just texting somebody about a Lucid X Enforcer. Oh, yes. Antiquing. Mm Okay. You want to play more disc golf today? Yeah, I could use some more disc golf today. Okay, let's do it. Perfect. <laughs> no, we missed the cut. So, now we're playing an XC tier, even though we just finished our round. <laughs> to get some birdies. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted a birdie. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> we are at Brahms to get ice cream. I'm buying Tina ice cream. Oh, that's so nice of you. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? The goodness of my heart. And I lost. <laughs> she lost. That's what really happened. We had a playoff. We tied. Yeah, we tied and we had a one-hole playoff. And I won. Yeah. I won't give you the details. I banded a 10-footer. Be better. Mmm, <laughs> what a good ice cream. Started at the Nantucket Open, where Todd Rainwater is the TD. I don't know how many years he's been doing it, but it is a good time. They're calling it the Rainwater Raz Round here. It's a slightly different format, but it should be just as fun and probably three times as loud as it was in Nantucket. So there's like a thousand people here. Approximately a thousand. Maybe more. Yeah. There's I think 1,600 people in town for the GBO. Yeah, 1,600 competitors, That's let alone. Insane. Any spectators, so families? Who knows how many are here? So many cowbells.
GBO this year it was super fun. Uh, Performance-wise, was uh, not obviously not where I wanted to be, but in the grand scheme of things, I learned a lot. I uh, found some uh, serious positives towards the end of my final round that I think can help me uh, recapture what I had going on at the early part of the season. So, I'm looking forward to the West Coast. Um, my GBO was kind of exciting actually. Um, I haven't played a tournament round since the Memorial in March and so uh, I've had a lot of time off to do some media, to do some work. We did the RV Entrepreneur Summit and I haven't had... How much have I practiced Eric? Like none? Yeah, but you've been you've been focusing on rehabbing your shoulder. You've been focusing on whale sacks yeah. and, and tons of media stuff. So yeah, it's not so, like you haven't been doing anything. Yeah, that's been my main focus, and yeah, just like staying strong and <clears throat> and uh, making sure my business is running well. So I've been distracted from actual disc golf, and I didn't get much practice in before the tournament, but I was I did pretty good. Um, my trespass and I just like totally understood each other like I knew what it, what it was gonna do for every shot and um, I haven't had that kind of confidence with my discs in a long time not because of my disc but just because I haven't been comfortable or I was always worried or nervous and so it was really cool to really come together I threw four OB strokes over three rounds which is like none <laughs> You know, if you go big. look at the stats, there's like everybody threw out of be out of bounds like five to ten times, and mine was four over all three rounds that I played. I had seven times the amount of OB strokes. Seven times. So I had twenty-eight OBs over four rounds. That's a lot. It was tough. Stuff going on. Yeah, out I there. mean it's a really hard course, and actually going into it, I didn't think that I would play well there because it's really hard for me to even get pars with uh, my lack of distance. And my putting was so bad, but as I'm sure you guys know, uh, that's one of the first things to go when you're uh, when you haven't practiced is your putting because it's so touchy. So if I would have made even a little bit of the putts that I had, I uh, definitely would have made the cut. But the last day I shot a four over, uh, which was I think six strokes better than my best round before. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't move me up, but it's one of my higher rated rounds, so I'm happy about that. Those are our. Uh, GBO moments, I guess. Okay, oh, but... we're about to leave town and we have a 22 hour drive to California. So, if you don't hear from us, that's why, because Eric drove me to insanity. Yep. <laughs> um, but to wrap up our GBO week, we're gonna go have a fun round with Danny and Bobby, maybe Anthony if he can He's get out coming. of some obligations. But, so, um, if you get a chance, roast Danny. Yeah, or please. Anthony. Anthony. Not Danny. He's going to be here. I keep doing that. Um, yeah, so they've been working really hard this week, and now we get a chance to go play. So uh, um, you'll hear from us from California. A little more warm, a little more beach scenes, which is my favorite kind of vlog to make. Um, catch you on the flip side. Keep on driving. Forever. Like 22 hours. Not, not kidding. At all. 22. Doing it, doing it. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs>